This was one of the most amazing trips we've ever taken as a family. This hotel was just a little hobbit hut located very high up on a hill between two active volcanoes and our kids had the best time ever. When we told our friends that we were going to Guatemala, they looked at us in a weird way and asked, what's in Guatemala? Well, for starters, there is the largest Taco Bell in the world located in Guatemala City. And that was the main reason why we chose this beautiful country. We didn't know what to expect, but when we started researching, we found out that there are many really cool things to do in Guatemala, like hiking an active volcano and eating a pizza baked in the volcano's heat. But before we tell you all about that unforgettable experience, we'd like to show you one of the coolest hotels we've ever stayed at, the Habitenango. Good morning. Oh my goodness. We're up at four in the morning yesterday. We traveled from Mexico City to Guatemala, went to the Taco Bell. We were just so tired. And this morning we're supposed to wake up at 5 a.m. and hike a volcano. But luckily for us, on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, there are roadblocks here in Guatemala, and we were not able to make it to the site. So we got to sleep in. We woke up at 7 this morning. I'm not feeling great. I have a stuffed nose, but hopefully it won't develop into anything serious. It's a little too early and too chilly outside for the kids to go to the swimming pool, and I have to work. So I'm just sitting here. Hopefully we'll be done in a few minutes and we will be on our way to Antigua, beautiful little town an hour away from Guatemala City. We do it great. Hobbit Hut. That's going to be our hotel for tonight. We're on top of a mountain about an hour uh, from Guatemala City. So now we have to climb to the transportation side because there's no uh, access by the car to the hotel. And they will pick us up in a 4x4 and bring it up there. One traveler is out of service. Midday nap. Or our bags and we'll have to somehow get them to the top of the mountains. Oh my god, these bags are like 60 pounds. Go up. I know, we're gonna find out where the hobbit is. Alright, we need to go up more. Oh my god, look at this view behind me. It's beautiful. Does the doggy like it? <laughs> Is it BP? Chase! His name's Chase? Okay, we're in our VIP transportation. We got our bags. We're gonna go to the Hobbit House. You ready? Bumpy ride! Almost 8,000 feet above the sea level. It's getting really chilly up here. And I'm just wearing a t shirt and shorts. Here's another bus coming, so I just have to wait and let them through. There's not enough room for two buses. It's bumpy. Yeah. Are you enjoying the ride? Yeah. Woo. That's the spirit. Yes. Oh, have it is up there. We're coming. Now we're going backwards. A lot of people there. It's like a busy place. 
these are our maletas. Hi, Hobbit. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hola, buenas tardes. This is the volcano of water, the volcano de agua. And here are the hobbit huts. We're going to sleep in one of those. Just so beautiful and peaceful. And there's a lot of people to be honest. Did not expect this to be. I didn't expect this place to be this busy. Oh guys, go inside the hobbit. No, 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 Check out our Hobbit home that we are here for one day and we will make the most of it. <gasps> Thank you. Let's see if the Hobbit is home. What's the house called? Casa Esmeralda. Let's go take a look. Call him, see if the Hobbit is here. Whoa. Wow. Oh my God. Getting this up here so cool. literally took my breath away, but this oh. view and your hobby spectacular. Is we usually have an ocean view or a city view or a garden view, but this is the first time ever we have the volcano view. It's amazing. There's two volcanoes. One there, one there. Yeah. All right, so the boys are going to sleep here. No, I'm going to sleep here, Benji, here. Okay. No. So there's room no. enough for got, at least six idea. in this room. You're going to sleep with, I'm going to sleep with daddy. And you go sleep with Benji. No, I think you're gonna sleep here. I'm gonna sleep on the bed. Okay, let's take a look at the bathroom. Perfect. We get a working toilet. We got a shower. A shower. And most importantly, a shower. Help me. View. A shower. We got a view while taking the shower. Come take a look. That's nice of them. They gave us filtered water and two mugs. Don't open it because it's been a leak. Yep, this is my bed. No, you got dirty shoes. You got shoes. Come in, just two. That's... Yeah, but I put my shoesies here. See? And Mommy, when we wake up, up. Mommy, we got a nice view. There is no air conditioning or heat in the house. There actually is. There is heat, but you have to call them on a walkie-talkie for them to come and make the fire pit for you. But check it out. Oh, so we have a fireplace. But it's like a chimney. That's what they call it. Okay, so a chimney. It's more of a chimney than a chimney fireplace. With real wood. And walkie-talkie. They told us that we have to put it on number two and give him a holler if we need something. Let's go see if the hobbit is here. <gasps> He's there. Do you think I can catch him or not? Yeah, you can catch him. Go here, mom. Oh, yeah. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Come on, let's go get him. Let's go get Where's him. the hobbit? Where's the hobbit? Where is he? Come on, Philip, go. Oh my goodness. Check this out. Oh freaking amazing. The reason why this village is called uh, Hobbitenango because in Guatemala a lot of names of little villages and towns end with Nango. Kind of like in English we have Jonestown, Georgetown, Cape Town. Here they have Quetzaltenango, Momostenango and a whole bunch of other Nangos. So this is the Hobbit village in Guatemalan Spanish Hobbitenango. This looks like fun. You guys want to do that swing? A little adrenaline rush. We're going to go on the swing. Where is daddy? Let's go look. <gasps> there he is. He's going to go fly. Bye. Come on. 
I'm alive, that's what matters. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. Nice. Muchas gracias. We're gonna pick something for lunch because we've been snacking on candy and chips, not the health healthiest. So I'm gonna try to pick something good, and everything just looks really good here. So we have three choices of the burgers: we have the dragon, we have the troll, and we have the green belly. There's meats and steaks, and a whole bunch of stuff. Pizza. Wow, everything looks so good. The kids are definitely enjoying the dogs. And they just run around waiting for dinner. Look who's here. Look who's here. I got company. Hey, hey. Is this Chase? Hey. Who is this? Chase. Is this Chase? This is Chase. Hey, Chase Rubble. and? Hey, Rubble. And Rubble. Okay, so you got Chase and Rubble. Okay, so, our food just so arrived. Really? Look at the size so of this really? massive burger. Boys of lemonade, water, shrimp tacos. And here's Paulina's chicken salad. Wrap. Chicken salad. Yes. Salad wrap with chicken. And here's my drink, and it's called Viejo Hobbit. It's an old hobbit. Or the hobbit grandpa. Huh? Cheers to Guatemala, to the hobbits. And volcanoes. <laughs> so I love the homemade French fries. They're made out of real potatoes and just fried in the oil. They're so yummy. And they have some kind of a homemade ketchup. It's definitely tomato based, but it's not ketchup. Mm. Really good. Awesome. It's 5 p.m. It's gotten really cloudy around the volcanoes. We can't see the sun anymore. It's gotten really, really cold. So Polina just went to get some sweaters. The kids are definitely cold. <sighs> Much better. It costs 200 quetzales, just about 20 bucks. Not bad, keeps me warm. We got these two beautiful volcanoes. And we're about to witness the sunset. Probably another hour. Hopefully we'll be able to see something through the through the clouds. What a gorgeous place. Oh, Guatemala is beautiful. We have just some ambient Mayan music playing in the background. Ah, just forget about everything. The reality, your problems, your work. Ah, so cool. We're just listening to some Mayan music. Enjoying the sunset. So peaceful, beautiful. Total detachment from reality. What a magical place. Hobitanango in Guatemala. Just outside of Guatemala City.
All right, it's getting dark. It's time to conclude the day. We go to our hobbit hut. And I think we have the fireplace on. The chimney. Chimney. <laughs> Okay, gracias, muy amable. Hey, hobbits, what are you doing? We just woke up. We're looking at the volcano. Oh, my goodness. Guys, let's go upstairs. Let's go to the roof to see the view. We can, there's no clouds. We can see both volcanoes at the same time. The volcano of the water, Volcán de Agua, and Volcán de Fuego, Volcano of the Fire. And you know what? The Volcano of the Fire is active. So this means that every 15 to 20 minutes, it's spewing out ashes, sometimes even lava and fire. Yeah, where's the hobbit? Did you guys find the hobbit? No. Philip, did you find the hobbit? No. We can finally see both volcanoes at the same time. There's no clouds covering them. Here's Volcano of the Water, Volcán de Agua, and Volcano of the Fire, Volcán de Fuego. Wow. Yeah, you see the dark cloud? Yeah. That's volcano, that's an active volcano. It's only 50 degrees outside and we have no heat in the Hobbit house. So now I'm gonna be taking shower. And the supply of warm water is very limited. So. Um, Avon shampoo, brown. Okay, so this is the shampoo. Interesting. Shower time. Okay, that was very refreshing. I don't think they have a, a hair bowl dryer here. So we'll have to dry it naturally. And let's go have some breakfast. What I love about traveling to places like this, this is just so quiet and peaceful, but the kids, they just run outside all the time. They spent yesterday all day, all night outside. They had really, really good night's sleep and it's eight in the morning. We just woke up and they're outside again, just running, playing with the dogs. This is just amazing. Awesome, fresh air up here in the mountains with the beautiful view of volcanoes and a volcano spewing out ashes. How cool is that? I'm so excited. <laughs> the only thing better than having this beautiful volcano view would be hiking a volcano and climbing all the way to the top. Hmm, we might just do that. 